line for v5 and you've got a ton of burst that can come out incredibly quickly but also when you look at it like you're trying to see if you can get some sort of priority in that bot lane leona going to help out and kind of help carson a little bit and being able to sneak in get that early vision control the v5 like to play around all right well the final have pressure in this bot side and as well knight you can see a lot of nerlies a lot of almost happenings but maybe we get it with knight with no flash oh shockwave comes in Carson on the players on knocks knight away but remember as you said no flash available this blood for Carson. That was close to every spell hitting, but not quite oh. now, Jackie Love. Ja oh, flat down, but Tien maybe wants to try and smite fight this. They're just, they're toying with the idea, but they're not going to go for it. And now they're feared into the fight. Shockwave from Rookie is gorgeous. The Infernum does damage, but nowhere near enough. And v Trying to come through this choke point. Look where Knight is. He's so far away. So Carson's like, cool, brilliant. No flash Jackie Love, no flash Mark. We just burnt them, but let's just go for it. Especially when you've got the Super Mega Death Rocket coming over the top of it. It's the one, two, three for the top. They just haven't been able to get in like they'd want to. And Rich now, maybe this victim. Oh, locked up. Tien is here as well. Rich is surely going to go down. Nearly gets wayward. Fair play to him. But ultimately, remember that CS lead? It's literally flipped around. It's literally yeah. opposite to what it was. Oh, and it's out of top esports. And they've already got the Rift Herald mid as well. So this gains the priority. You've already actually have Rich just soloing a great something here. Yeah. You can see Rich just goes to the Drake, so the top lane can grab the Drake while the rest of the team grabs the mid lane tower. And like, okay, that's all I've got. I think I, that did three damage. <laughs> I think that was the grand total. Oh, Onslaught of Shadows with the Shockwave! Two of them found! Tian zips over the wall, but Knight won't be so lucky. Right, so like, they play very similar. Like, Tian and Knight want to be the strong mid. The game, perhaps that's the mojo window that we've been looking for. Little pockets of vision that they set up. The top esports are struggling. Has found them, but it's going to be uh, all out from Tien. There's the, sh the onslaught of shadows coming on through. The ball is there, two man shockwave. Cast has already gone down, but he'll be answered for Mark with his onions, but it's not enough. And now Jackie Love chased by PP God. Rookie trying to follow up. That's a huge stun out from Knight. Jackie Love flashes away, but he goes down anyway. And Fotic wants more. He wants a third, but it's Rich with a shotgun blast from the heavens. V5 is Carsa when he finds that moment can just go look at Carsa, right? I 100% agree the Hecarim is phenomenal, but Carsa has like the third highest kill participation of this team. That's because of moments like this. He's like, look, my life for ire. I am going to give my life here so others may rise up to the occasion. And he'll only get the like kill participation the first two, but he sets up for the rest of those kills. And this is why V5 have just found such a good formula. And like why they are our best placed team at the moment in the LPL and I mean realistically at least my favorite for with a boat you know cinnamon stick in the bag a little bit of yogurt perhaps to three months since I need so look he was like oh, oh this is how oh, I do lane the flank the flank we've been looking for wayward is behind enemy lines cast is here can wayward find the old flashes forward uses his on use there's a stun but where's the rest of the team nobody follows up it's gonna be a moonlight vigil but now the fear comes across the squad and Fotix already finished them off it's a double kill for him on the jinx and it's over before it ever began for Top Esports. 12 to 2 on the scoreline. And one last ditch effort is just nowhere near enough. It just felt like Top Esports were outclassed the entire way along. Weren't able to find the early moments that they wanted to with TN. And now V5 sitting in front of the Nexus turrets. There's only two members of Top Esports left. Knight and Tien, but Knight misses his scat of the week. And that is going to be curtains. But actually, Rookie wants a little bit more finishes off his mid lane counterpart just before the buzzer goes it's a 12k gold lead third rookie as well on the oriana both of them maintain their 100 percent win rate on those champions as casa grabs himself an mvp and rightly so because i mean it's like you said see enemy kill enemy from casa yeah and it made it so much easier to change